Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, as the title may suggest, we're going to be going over my collection of 187 or HO scale mining and off-highway trucks. Again, just a brief introduction for those collectors that may be either new to the hobby or perhaps they've never heard that term before. Off-highway or mining trucks typically are used in mining and quarry applications because they can haul a lot of material. But because they are so large, obviously they cannot travel on conventional roads and highways. First model we'll take a look at is this Terex Heavy Duty Dump Truck. Now, initially the tooling was created by Kibri, and then Scene Master actually took over the tooling and made it into a snap-together kit, which is this version you see. Again, the initial first release was done in Terex Green. That is a little bit harder to come by nowadays. This one you can really walk into any of your local hobby or train stores and pretty easily acquire it. Uh, as far as the build goes, very easy. Mostly all plastic components that you can snap together in uh, about an hour or an hour and a half if you're really dragging your feet and taking your time and enjoying the build. But when you're done, it's a uh, very good looking truck. Again, if I had to do this over again, I probably would try to acquire some original Terex green and spray the whole thing be, uh, before assembling it just to give it a little bit more of that nostalgia Terex green color that uh, I grew up with seeing. But all in all, it's not a bad kit. Basic functionality, obviously, is you can dump the end of it. Some details include mirrors. There's a horn over here to the side. You can see the mud flaps on it. Access stairs all throughout. And realistic wheels with a decent tread pattern on it. And again, because it's plastic, it weighs next to nothing. Next model we'll take a look at is another one of the Komatsu gifts that Komatsu does once a year for its shareholders. So I had to acquire this from a Japanese seller on one of the auction sites. This is the Komatsu HD 325 off-highway truck. Overall, pretty detailed model. Unfortunately, mine came with a broken cylinder, which I'll show you right here. You can see that the cylinder right there is snapped. If I bring it closer to the camera, you can really see it, which is a bit unfortunate. But um, as I don't typically display this very often at all, it's not that big of a deal. But what is cool is that you this model actually has working steering, has rock deflectors in the rear, and it has a decent height in terms of the dump angle. So if you're into Komatsu trucks, this might be one that uh, you want to track down online. Okay. Everything else that I'm going to show you, as you probably may have guessed, and perhaps is the drinking word for this video, is going to be Caterpillar. So the first is a Diecast Masters Cat 772 off-highway truck. This initially started off as a Norscott casting. Handful of years, well, probably about 10 years ago now. And uh, during the acquisition and the takeover, Diecast Masters recycled the tooling and added a operator figure in it and slightly improved the functionality on it. As you can see, it has a better range of dump angle on it, and they improved the three-stage cylinders as well when compared to the Norscott version. As you can see, it has mirrors and grab rails and things all around it to add some detail. What's interesting about this casting, and you'll see this a lot with Diecast Masters models, is not only did they make this available in 187 or HO scale, but they also made a 150th version for those that may have an O-gauge train layout. So that is the 772. Also, interesting fact about the 772 truck is that it is the only Caterpillar off-highway truck uh, currently that has the cab mounted center on the frame. Normally the cab is offset, usually on the left-hand side. Here it's in the center. All right. Next we'll take a trip down memory lane. This is a very old model produced by Shinsai Mini Power. This is a Cat 772 off-highway truck. Again, another model that during a late night browsing eBay, I came across and pulled the trigger and purchased. Not, I don't think this one had a scale associated with it, but it is very, very close to HO scale. Good enough for me anyway. Um, I don't like the Chevron striping on the front of it, but everything else looks good. And it does have the Block C logo. So 
very reminiscent of a 70s and early 80s era off-highway truck. As you can see, it still functions quite well for its age, although the dumping angle is very restricted. And with something this old, again, you want to make sure that you're handling with extreme caution and care. All right. Now we're going to get into the very high-end stuff. So this is another 777, but this is a D model by Classic Construction Models. Again, one of the original 12 from the 12-piece set. Memory serves me right, I believe, that this is actually number 12 in the set. So this was the final one released in the numerical sequence of the original 12. Not much else I can say about these brass models that I haven't said a million times anytime I feature them in a video. If you come across them and you're in a financial position to do so, just pick them up. They are just incredible works of art, modeling masterpieces. You won't be disappointed. They are next level by far. Again, can't emphasize this enough with the brass models. I really would encourage against posing them multiple times because every time you're going to do that, you're going to move a little bit of paint. Bear in mind, most of these models are upwards of 15, 20 years old. And uh, again, when you're investing in something at this price range, just be smart with whatever you're doing with it. So there were several variations, if you will, of the basic 777 design. And two of them were made with the Zyklon model's name attached to it. The first one we'll take a look at. This is the 777 with the clean K1800 water tank on it. Again, a relatively new addition to my collection. Uh, this was a holiday gift last year to me, which was a wonderful surprise. And I uh, absolutely love this one. So again, this would be used in mining and, and quarry applications to clean off equipment and uh, water down the haul roads, keep the dust suppression. And uh, again, just fantastic looking model. Basic 777 frame and truck with the water tank obviously retrofitted on it but no less the same amount of detail and uh, charisma, that's a good adjective, that you would get from a standard CCM release. Okay, I mentioned there were two Zyklon models variations. This is the other one. Uh, this is also a clean variation, Klein variation. Uh, this is the KFL 777 fuel and lube truck. So really, if you have all three, you almost have your mining scene done. Maybe get a front shovel, a couple wheel loaders, maybe a dozer, and then design your diorama around these. Obviously, you can see the details with the waste oil, gear oil up here. There's coolant in here, grease, hydraulic fluid, diesel fuel, engine oil, an insane amount of detail. There's a fire extinguisher over here. I believe this is supposed to be wheel chocks. I don't know what else I can say. If you're able to track them down, pick them up. This truck is also offered in mining white. So they did it in obviously cat, black and yellow, and also mining white. All right. Another new addition that I was able to purchase this year. This is the CCM Cat 776 tractor with the Mega Dump trailer. I don't know if both of these are going to fit on the spinny table, but we're going to try. There's the 776 tractor, which again is a modification of the 777 design truck. It has a little kingpin here that swivels, uh, really more of a fifth wheel type design, and that's what the trailer locks into. And then up here, there's a point where you can actually plug the lines into. So let's see, after we take a look at the trailer, if we can get both in. I did do a full-length review on this, literally the day that I received this in the mail. So if you take a look at the top of your screen right now and you want a closer, more in-depth look at this particular model, go ahead and click on that link. 
and it'll take you straight to the video. Go ahead and watch that and then come back and finish this video. Uh, as you can see, it is a bottom dump trailer. This is functional. Just an amazing model. Again, I don't know if we're going to be able to get the whole thing on the spinny table. It's a bit risky. But there you go. This proved to be over a over a 12, 13 year search. I missed the initial release of this when it was released by CCM. Uh, I pretty much have regretted it since. Finally, I came across one for a very reasonable price. Yes, it was way more than what it retailed for, but obviously, you know, you're going to see that with most CCM models. But at the time, um, I was able to work out a deal. I was able to afford it, and I could not be more proud to have it in the collection. Okay, let's move on. Got a couple more left here to show you guys. So you thought the 777s were large trucks, and they are. They're very big trucks. We're going to go up a notch. This is the newest brass model in my collection, arriving just a couple days ago. This is the Classic Construction Models Caterpillar 789D mining truck. So the 777s are called off-highway trucks. Now you're up into the mining truck class. So these tires, when you look at them in real life, in some cases they're over, uh, they're, they're over like 10 foot tall. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. You can put a, actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a 187 scale car next to it. Again, if, for those of you that may not be familiar with just how big these trucks are. So here's a 187 scale car right next to it. We'll let it spin it around and you can just get an accurate indication just how large these trucks are and just how big the tires are. They actually have to have large forklifts come in and change out the tires anytime they need to be replaced. So that is the 789, a release by CCM around 10 years or so ago. This is another one that they offered in mining white. So if you wanted to collect the brass models in white, there is about a half dozen or so that they made available in white. Maybe more than that, maybe around eight or nine. And then the last one to show you guys is the ultimate mining truck. Still, it's the largest to this day. Now it's offered as the 797F, but this was the first initial release back in the 90s. Here it is. This is the 797. This is also one that they did in white, but personally, I just like the models in the original cat colors. Uh, Zyklon Models also, does, also offers a conversion they actually, if you supply a 797, they will convert this up to a 797F, uh, obviously for an additional fee. But those that might have two of these lying around and they want one upgraded, you can contact them and they'll take care of it for you. Just to give you an indication of how big this one is, let's put our little car and there you go. So there you have it, collectors. I hope you have enjoyed this video and the other ones in this series with the HO collection updates. Uh, it's certainly from the comments and feedback that I've been getting, it certainly seems like you guys are enjoying them, which makes me uh, pretty happy and makes the work of getting all of these out, set up, and put back away worth it. Let me know down in the comment section below which of these you own in your collection or perhaps if there's something out there that you think I should own. Uh, that you want to bring my attention to, by all means, you can link it down in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. One other thing I want to mention real quick before we close the video, and I did post this on Instagram. At the time that I'm filming this, we're like we're at 8.8 thousand uh, subscribers here on YouTube, which again may not seem like a big number for some of the massive channels uh, on YouTube, but for me, that's a very big number. I would love to get to 10,000 subscribers. That, that would be a huge personal goal for me. So again, if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a moment of your time and it's absolutely free. And again, I would sincerely appreciate it. So thank you guys once again for watching. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.